discourse, debate, full sex between straight people that make straight babies. Yale University used to be a bastion of tradition, but now we're under attack. Fortunately, two women are fighting to return Yale to its unblemished past. And those women are us. I'm Roberta Bertha Child. Though I once supported Ellen DeGeneres, I'm now a post-gay advocate for normal people rights. And I'm Reagan Smith. In high school, I was the number one congressional debater in Ohio. I also competed nationally. Without us, Yale would be ruled by the liberal mob. And the elite. Sorry. We are Yale's conservative woman for conservative values. I see you coveting our sign. You're coveting it. Both are flowers, but the little flower is the winner. Number one. We founded Conservative Women for Conservative Values this year. At just four weeks, a liberal fetus can already vote twice. Life begins at conception and ends when you read Judith Butler. This one's already fought off the gay gene. Did you know that 20% of liberals are responsible for 80% of misleading infographics? Give me a holy five. Even our truth nukes couldn't liberate these plant-based pansexuals out of their iron-deficient lethargy. But if there's one way to reach youths these days, it's through their earbuds, e ear pods, air holes. We wanted to record outside for transparency, not unlike Parliament. But we were censored. This is a break for a message from our sponsor, MyPillow TV. MyPillow TV, where you can get normal shows about normal teen romance without all that other stuff. <laughs> Despite our super successful podcast, our quest to expose our peers to reason wasn't a walk in the corporate park. We are liberals! We felt lower than the Dow Jones under a Democratic president. So we decided to expand our niche. Niche. Nietzsche. Our Nietzsche. I don't get it, we brought their food. So we tried our fellow feminists. Former dykes for future tykes. Former dykes for future tykes. Former... How you been? Uh, look, I don't know if you've gotten my texts. Um... It's cut, are they okay? Just cut it. Um, I'm just... I'm seeing someone else. I thought you should know that. Get along with this crisis actor! It was the largest suppression of conservative speech since the Dixie Chicks became the Chicks. But sometimes, womb-spiration comes when you're least expecting it. Berta, she's on! And you find the right idea to make your podcast bigger, better, and more classier. Alright, <laughs> should we just get... Yeah. Should, should we start with our pronouns? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we like to joke, but uh, today is a very special day. We're joined by pro-life activist, Christian advocate, icon, and mother, Kristen Hawkins. Kristen Hawkins. Kristen Hawkins is president of Students for Life of America. Hawkins is a boots-on-the-ground leader. We believe it is a criminal offense to dismember human beings. We saw some pro-choice pro uh, advocates getting getting arrested. Yeah. They got taken away. Yeah. And it was great. 96% of biologists agree that the moment of conception, that that's a unique human life comes into existence. There's no other moment when that DNA Where are you getting the 96% code. of biologists? Where does that come from? Those are, those are from, that's a study from Chicago, University of Chicago. You might know Kristen from her appearances on Fox as the founder of Students for Life of America, which is over 1,200 student chapters across the country worldwide. It's an honor to have you on the podcast. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor to be here. and. I don't think I've ever been referred to as an icon before. This is like literally like having Justin Bieber on the podcast. Gen Z, as you've kind of alluded to, is the most pro-life generation yet. And I think that's largely because we've lost a quarter of mm -hmm. us. I mean, it is a holocaust. Mm -hmm. I have an idea for a movie that I've been working on a little bit. And basically it, re it reimagines the holocaust, but with the Jewish people as fetuses. I've described it as like Shoah meets Dr. Seuss. There needs to be a movie for the whole family that 
can be like a pre-born in the straight pajamas. I've shopped it around a little bit, but Hollywood, they're, they're not, not interested. interested. Yeah, Hollywood's not going to be interested in that film at all. I'll talk a lot about slavery um, and the struggle after slavery and then the civil rights movement. And even that, I mean, students will come up to me and say, you just said you were for slavery. I'm like, no. What? No. They don't listen. They don't no, listen. I'm like, you in. just heard me, this white pro-life activist who you don't like, say the word slavery and you just like it triggered. yeah they yeah and so that would be the question for that film um, i would say i would have to read the script because i would be very cautious into relating one tragedy to another right here this is the train track we're literally on the train track because this is where women are being led to slaughter their children we saw like a protest on campus the other day and people were actually trying to get Gail to pay for their abortions. That's what they want. It's not enough that they can have them. They want Daddy Gail to pay for it. We just stood there. We both missed class that day. We, did miss we stood there and we just watched. Yeah, we were, we were like this the whole time. I would have made my own protest sign and stood on the opposite side. Yeah. We just yeah. didn't have any glue or like... I have just, I don't know, get a pizza box. We are in a war. And like, um, unlike regular wars, which can be kind of fun, like the front line of this war is babies, okay? Which is way less cute than it sounds. How do you keep yourself strong enough every day? I'm highly competitive. I want to win and winning is abolishing abortion and winning is being the best. You know, you have to think about glass balls and rubber balls. And as a woman, you're constantly jugg juggling all of these balls. You gotta know, I can drop the rubber balls and they'll bounce back up, but I can't drop this glass ball because it will shatter and and you see young women and we actually we post we printed this out for you this is where our kids are getting right now but you, you know what they're doing with leaving these those little those hints. subtle hints little, like, yeah yeah the people who are the most fulfilled and the happiest in our world live their life for others those are the happiest people I mean I mean have you ever met a sad nun <laughs> I've met a lot of nuns I'm a Catholic convert uh, and they are the most joyful people. It's like they spread it. It's like crazy joyful. The nuns I've seen, they look super youthful, even yes. if they're super old. Yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy. What are they using? On they're their skin? they're not living their life. They're not living their life for themselves. Pivoting a little bit, well, we want to talk about how the how liberal propaganda has essentially demonized pregnancy, especially unplanned mm -hmm. pregnancy. Yeah, and it's a big problem right mm -hmm. now. I mean, because there's no positive deception, like depictions of it. We look at the industry. We've got maternity retailers. I remember my mom loving yep. pee in the pod. Yep. We've got tween retailers. There's nothing overlap. Who, if you're here, you don't exist. We're not going to cater to you. Mm -hmm. We don't care about catering to you. That's a really good idea. And, um, and we thought, like, what if we made this cute? I took Sheen's designs, and I made them for pregnant women. I mean, give it to me straight. Do you think it has legs? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, do it online, for sure. Yeah. I think the idea is great uh, for younger I wouldn't market it as like a teen pregnancy outfit because people tend to get a little. No, like I just say younger, forever twenty one, younger, younger Youth. moms or something like okay. that. I just think that pregnancy is hard work. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it even is. physically laborious. Like, yeah. I mean, breastfeeding burns like four hundred calories an hour. That's mm -hmm. that's PE. Like, that's more than probably the beeper <laughs> test. Do you remember the beeper test? Yeah. Do, it's, you like, it's like it's like beep beep and then you run. You run from across the room to across the room. Yeah. Where's the academic credit for pregnancy? Mm -hmm. We have a few little gifts for you. Life begins at conception. Okay. And conception begins at margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, so we've got a flower and oh my a smaller gosh. flower within it, but the smaller flower is the winner. Aww. Yeah. I've never gotten a word like this before. Yay! I give you my office address. You can yeah, ship this okay. to my yeah, office. Yeah. After our girl talk with Kristen, we were ready to change tiny beating hearts and minds. This is Rebecca! She likes horses, being pregnant, and recess! My name's Roberta! I love men, I love dating men, and one day I will marry a man! I'm Reagan, and to be beautiful, I don't have to be liberal or vaccinated! Kristen was right. As a woman, you're constantly juggling balls. Rubber balls, white balls, big balls, pale balls, smelly balls, glass balls. If you drop a rubber ball, it will bounce. But if you drop a glass ball, it will shatter. Berta, facts. I'm gluing. What is it? 
it's uh it's Nevertheless, you continued to spoof. <gasps> spoof? This is like getting dumped by Justin Bieber. <sighs> we were being sued for being ourselves. If ever we have erred, it is because we have loved too hard. But since Kristen wasn't answering our Snapchats anymore, we had to get to her the only way we knew how through song. Life begins at conception, that's science. Plan B and Tifa and Jojo, see where that's violence. We want you back, but in a straight way, so we wrote a pro-life song for the babies. Straight babies. Life begins at conception, conception begins at Marguerite As I never thought I'd know you, Kristen But I never thought I'd see you leave us Baby, baby, baby Bush was a baby, your barista was a baby Baby, baby, baby Would you take me back if I were a baby? I'm a postmenopausal woman I wake up at six to protest abortion I don't need to sleep in Cause I got my meth and I got my vitamins I scream at the terrified teens Walking in for BC and IUDs Life begins at conception Conception begins with my poor boy Abortions are never okay I know cause I had one in 1990 Baby, baby, baby Palin was a baby, your cousin was a baby Baby, baby, baby Hitler was a baby and we wouldn't have killed him I'm a Harvard freshman I'm the devil's favorite advocate People call me misogynist But to that I say Shut, Shut up, up, bitch I'm a social liberal, fiscal conservative By that I mean I am a conservative One day I'll be in Congress And I'll ban abortion Except for my mistress Life begins at conception Conception begins when a girl will fuck me It's gonna happen someday Cause I'm five foot eight and I come from Money. Even if the circumstances are a mega bummer It'll be alright by summer Assuming you start in October Life begins at conception Conception begins whenever God plans it If you got a problem You can take it up with Jesus Push a child out Push the bangs out of your face Push through today, and soon you'll get through seventh grade.